Hey Shoebie Doodlers, how are you doing? In my last Pond Live video, I showed you how to draw a water boatman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a caddis fly. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. You are going to need a pen, and a pencil and an eraser. Let's just kind of draw a, a kind of a basic shape. Um, we're going to want a head section and thorax section and the body section and then the body is really going to be covered in all this stuff little pebbles stone sticks things like that i think each cat is flight likes to do something different don't they and then we're going to have and then we'll have kind of legs coming out like that i think i'm going to start actually with the case and start drawing lots of little pebbles and what i'm going to do is to draw them all down the middle and they can be all sorts of different shapes and sizes and draw one whole section coming all the way down the middle to sort of establish what's going on so these little pebbles will be facing us and you'll see the full kind of flat side of them and then we need to kind of fit more in around if we do little ones there maybe there's going to be kind of gaps in between that you're going to need to fill in. So they're all going to be different sizes. Uh, have a little one in there. And we'll have a little one in there. We can have maybe a big one there. A little one there. And you can make them kind of... <laughs> they don't all have to be spherical. They can be kind of strange shapes and sizes. And we can do the same then on the other side. And kind of, if you've got tiny little gaps like that, then you can fill them in dark. So go all the way down to the end, filling in. And then as you get to the edge, then they want to be more kind of elongated. So start, that'll be a kind of a, a, a rounder one, but they want to start now sort of getting a bit <laughs> longer. And that will help to give that kind of feeling of the case being a tube and you're going to get that sort of curve shape to the whole thing. So we'll now try and do a nice kind of smooth edge to the whole thing now with kind of longer pieces. You can put short pieces in there as well, but if you have kind of longer, longer thin pieces at the end and we're kind of creating a line as we go. So again here we want to do these kind of sort of more elongated kind of pieces like that and again filling in all these little holes as we're going along and this is where we want to do that kind of thing again where we're gonna have longer bits on the edge or thinner, it's not going to wide that way, if that makes sense. <laughs> now we can have this bit of body sticking out there, and then in fact this is going to be kind of the head, and then we want these kind of little sort of mandible things, and little eyes sticking out there, and then let's have um, two little bits sticking out there and then the next sections will be a little bit thinner the next sections will be a little bit thinner and then we want kind of little clawy kind of attachments on the end <laughs> like that and then again we want to have something like that sort of one two three and a little bit when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines. And when you're drawing planned pencil lines like this, you don't press too hard or else you're gonna find it's really difficult to erase those lines. And I'm gonna just do some little lines like that and maybe some little dots along the edges there just to give a bit of kind of shading to these the, the leg parts. And if you really wanted to, you could add some tiny little bits of shading in 
<laughs> around one side of these pebbles. And I'm just doing kind of one, two, three, one, two, three. Not, not a lot, one, two, three. They're, they're all almost dots. Start with one, and then the next one's a half size, and then a dot. Right, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And we'll have some more in there, and then these can be, when it gets to the other, starts turning around then you can just just put some little dots just as a kind of a suggestion of shade and texture as well it's one of the things we're after and then all you need to do is to color it in a kind of a, a, a yellowy kind of brown and shade in individual little pebbles in different colors to kind of accentuate that there are little pebbles if you want to draw more Pond Live stuff, check out the playlist in the description box below. And click that button and make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.